In this video, we will revise there is, there are, there was, there were, and the difference between some and any. Let's start. There is and there are. We use there is and there are to talk about the existence of things. For example, there is is followed by a singular noun. For instance, there is a book on the desk. There are is followed by a plural noun. For example, there are books on the desk here. There is can also be followed by uncountable nouns, things that we cannot count. For instance, there is some milk in the fridge. All right, let's continue. In the negative form, we use there isn't and there aren't. For example, let's see, there isn't a pen on the table. No pen, there isn't. There aren't any pens here just pencils. There isn't any juice in the fridge. In the interrogative form we just need to change the order. Instead of there is, we will write is there. Instead of there are, we will write are there. How much and how many? We use these question words to form questions. For example, how many is followed by a plural noun. How many students are there? How much is followed by singular nouns, uncountable nouns, things that we cannot count. For example, how much sugar is there. We will cover countable and uncountable nouns in our next video. There was and there were. We use these expressions to refer to the past. There is a cinema at the corner. This is a present sentence. In past tense we say there was a cinema at the corner. There are many people at the meeting. In past tense we say there were many people at the meeting. Let's figure out how to form the negative and interrogative case. In the affirmative we say there was a cinema. To turn into negative, we just add the negative particle not. And to form a question, we just change the order. Was there a cinema? Now we will see the difference between some and any. We use some in affirmative sentences. For example, there are some pencils on the desk. In this case, some means a few or a little, a small quantity of something. We use any in negative sentences. For example, there aren't any pencils on the desk. In this case, any means none, none at all, nothing, zero. There aren't any pencils on the desk. We also use any in interrogative sentences. For example, are there any pencils on the desk? In this case, again, any means a few or a little. Talking about a small quantity. Let's put everything together. Let's start practicing. In the first exercise, let's see, we have to complete with affirmative or interrogative forms 
of there is or there are. You need to pay attention to the sentence. In this case, it says a dishwasher. This is singular, so we're going to use there is. Any people. People, it's a plural noun. It's the plural of person. That's why we're going to use are there, the interrogative form, because we have a question mark. So, you have to pay attention to the noun, if you have a singular or plural noun, and you have to pay attention whether you have a question mark or a full stop. Let me show you one example. Are there any books on the shelf? Plural noun, question mark. That's why we are using are there. Now please stop the video and complete the rest. Are you ready? Let's check. These are the answers. Now let's complete part B. In part B, we will write affirmative, negative or interrogative sentences and we will use there is or there are and then we will use either a, an or some or any. Let me show you with one example. Here we have to write an affirmative sentence. We have a plural noun. So we will start writing there are, we have the plural noun trees, this is an affirmative sentence, so we will use some. There are some trees in the garden. Just for you to remember, take into account that we only use a or and with countable singular nouns when we talk about one thing. For example, let's see, here we have table. This is a singular noun, countable singular noun. In this case, we're going to use there is and the article a. Ah, there is a table in the kitchen. Now, stop the video, try to complete the rest, and then we will check the answers. Ready? Let's see the answers. Please pay attention to the use of some and any. Can you understand when to use them? If you have any question, please write down your questions and then ask your tutor. Here we have some more exercises. In this case, we're going to practice there was or there were. We have to complete the dialogue with the correct form of there was or there were. Let me show you one example. How many guests were there in the hotel. We are using past tense. Here we have plural noun and this is a question mark. That's why we're going to use the interrogative form. Were there. Now please stop the video, complete the rest and then we will check the answers. Alright, here you are the answers. Great. Let's continue with part B. Now we have to complete sentences with uh, there was, there were, there wasn't, there weren't, and then we need to use either a or and, some or any. For instance, here we have ghost. In the haunted castle I stayed in. This is a plural noun. 
That's why we use there were. This is an affirmative sentence. That's why we're using some. Analyze the rest. Take into account whether you have a singular or plural noun. Check if the sentence is affirmative, negative or interrogative. And decide whether to use some or any. Stop the video, complete and then we will check your answers. Ready? Let's check. Well done! Remember to write down your question, so then you may ask your teacher. Thank you. That's all for now.